Hello and welcome to another edition of the Gadget Show Web TV. This is the Ricoh G600, the company's latest rugged digital camera. They reckon it would be excellent for people who engage in mountain climbing, fishing or marine sports. It certainly looks the part. It's got a chunky rubberized body, which at the same time isn't overly large, so you can still carry it about. It has some very purposeful looking screw down slots to cover things like the battery, the memory card and the USB port. And uh, the controls are distinctly no nonsense. You can certainly imagine using these at the top of a mountain in a blizzard while you're wearing your gloves. In spite of the glass shield covering the lens, colours are bright and strong and you can also get right down to one centimetre away from things for big juicy close-ups. Flash performance is more reliable than on recent Ricoh R series cameras I've tried. It's also very quick to turn on and gives very little shutter delay. Sensitivity will go right up to ISO 3200, although I'd find as you steadily crank the sensitivity up, you lose colour and almost exposure accuracy in the shots, so I wouldn't use it terribly often. It's the only camera I've ever seen, though, with a special firefighting mode. When you go into that, the uh, focus goes fixed, so it's not actually upset by smoke and stuff like that. And you also get a brighter viewfinder display for seeing what you've taken easily in hazardous conditions. Hmm. But what about the ruggedness claims? Well, let's try a waterproof test first in the fish tank. Now, I'm going to put this model car at the bottom of the fish tank and try and take a picture of it. Rico claimed that the camera is water resistant down to one and a half meters, so this really should be a pretty easy test. Well, there we are. So far, so good. There's my picture. Marvellous. It also claims to be drop proof. You can drop it on various surfaces from a height of one and a half meters, an American military standard known as 810F. Let's see how it copes with paving slabs. Hmm. Now, looks good enough. There we are. Now, Rico also claimed the camera's dust proof, which I reckon could be really handy. Say, when you're on the beach, I always think it's going to give up and go all sort of grungy with all the sand getting into all the moving parts. Well, to test their claims, I built my own test beach. Here, let's stick the camera in there and see how it performs. Pack it in nicely. Take it about a bit. Right, take it out. Rinse it off in the bucket of water. Well, let's switch it on. Coming to life immediately. Let's take a picture of the... Oh, the bucket and spade. Perfect. Well, as well as passing all my tests, it's also freeze resistant down to minus 10 degrees centigrade and the battery life's good and you can run it on AAA batteries if you get caught out of charge in an emergency. So all round, I reckon the G600's an excellent rugged camera.